be a part of the 1ID, this is one of the most historical divisions in, in the Army. To go back and to serve in the same division where many that lost their lives in the variety of wars is really, it's, it's sacred ground. You're going to come into a position as, you know, a, a key position as a major in a brigade comp combat team and you're going to have a mission whether you're regionally aligned or you're globally available and you're continuing to build those those decisive action skills for, for w whatever our nation asks us to do. You know strangely Fort Riley is, is probably better than any installation I've been at in terms of getting time back to them. I mean this is the only place a lot of people talk about that family time 1500 on Fridays this is the only place I've ever been at that, that stringently enforces it. In addition, this is also the only installation I've been at that figures out a way to give everybody a four-day weekend every month. It's, it's a good thing. Uh, and I will tell you, I was stationed here six years ago, and it was not like that then, so it's uh, substantially better. I wanted to come to Fort Riley because it was a more rural environment. Uh, I'd been in uh, larger cities, uh, D.C., prior to CGSC, and I, I wanted to stay away from an environment like that. So I wanted a more small-town feel to things. I wanted more wide open spaces like what I'm used to in Wyoming. You know, we have the pillars of the division, training, maintaining, morale, and discipline, all tied together with teamwork. That's a pretty easy to understand framework, no matter who you are in the division. This is the epitome of the command climate, which I've been searching for for the last 12 years. Uh, what is here embodies mission command, uh, trusting subordinate leaders to make decisions, to execute plans, uh, to give clear guidance. Uh, this, this here, the command climate all the way up to the division command is thoroughly nested and we see that at the battalion level. If you drive down post you're going to see a brand new middle school that's won national awards and my son's a student there. So he's going to one of the best schools he could go anywhere in the country. A lot of education opportunities here. Uh, Martin Community College is right here and family members, soldiers can get a, a degree, an associate's degree for free uh, during the course of a two or three year assignment here. It's, it's really a unique uh, location. My family loves it. We, uh, we, we are K-State fans. Uh, my wife came here and actually got her college degree from Manhattan Christian College. Uh, so we're tied to the community uh, outside the Army. Uh, and the friends we had here in 2007 are friends we've remained uh, in contact with and, and have seen in 2012. Uh, the community supports the soldiers. This is an organization that's actually vetting who they want as part of their, their organization. And they want to build a team. Instead of just getting random major that interviews, they wanted to make it competitive and selective. And an organization with that mindset appeals to me personally. It's a privilege to be part of America's First Division. It's about being the best soldier that you can be. It's about being uh, brave and having the courage to do what's right even when no one's looking. It's about being responsible and being accountable to both yourself, your union, and your community, and also being on point, being ready to deploy whenever the division or the nation needs the 1st Infantry Division.